You ever heard of the term road rage? Oh, yes. Have you ever seen road rage here in Hawaii? <laughs> yes. You have? Do you want to talk about it for a minute or two with us? Oh, it, it wasn't personal. I mean, I've kind of... But seen you've seen it. it on the roadway. What kind of what kind of examples of road rage have you seen? Ooh. Bad stuff or uh, kind of just rude behavior? Impatient. Impatient behavior. More of it. Where people are just kind of trying to get to a place and uh, just really irritated because somebody's, you know, just... But what happened? Hawaii used to be a land of people who just... Oh, People still do. They still take their time. Yes, and people always wave and when right. you let them go or something. Uh, so back in the day before H1 and you know <laughs> before statehood, people, the fastest they ever drove was probably around 40 miles an hour. Maybe the maximum, huh? Well, the roads weren't that They great. were pretty bumpy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe it was 30 miles an hour, right? <laughs> no, I, I think uh, there's still a lot of aloha around. What do you think's happening though? Why do you, you know? Did you oh, know that? Did you know? It's bad. It's bad. But do you know that Hawaii is the number one ranked state for road rage? Would you have ever really? guessed that? Yes. Well, I think it's because people are so uh, so disgusted with the fact that it takes them forever to get anywhere when it's really uh, the early morning hours and the late afternoon hours. Uh, the rest of the time, I think people are pretty good. Do you ever see road rage in the parking lots of shopping centers and things oh, like that? Yeah, where two people are trying to get a parking space and they're both edging over. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. Have you seen them honk or just yell at each other or all oh, the above? Uh, sometimes they'll yell. Yeah. <laughs> but if, you, if you had any advice for someone before they get on the road, what would you tell them? Start early. Plan, plan a little bit earlier. And if you had any advice for someone who was in the middle of road rage, not that you're sitting in their car or anything, but what would you say to them? Just be calm because you never know what kind of person is in that other car. And it could be somebody who is really upset about something else and it just spills over. So you don't want to get into a, a tangle with them. We have an expert, a national expert here, that actually is a professor at the University of uh, Hawaii, Manoa, and uh, he's an expert about road rage. And you know what he said? He said, don't think about just you and your family if, if you're in a road rage situation, but think about the driver's family and friends. And I thought that was really interesting that, you know, you can help diffuse a whole situation by the other person thinking about the, the family and friends of someone who's having a bad day. What do you think about that? Well, fair enough. Yeah. Sure. We all have bad days. <laughs> Unfortunately, some people take it with them behind the steering wheel. Oh, uh, that's not unusual. I think when they're in their cars, they, they are sort of isolating them from other people. They're in their own bubble. That's a very good point. They, they're not being um, responsible on a social level. Right. And my last question is, um, have you ever been the recipient of someone's rage on the road? <laughs> Uh, no, um, no, uh, not not really. But I've been the one who's been angry at somebody. What kind of thing made you angry? Just out of curiosity. It was a long line of cars waiting for a turning light. We had gone through two lights already because it was just backed up. This car comes out, a little young man in it, you know, and he's... He's coming from the side road, entering the lane that we're in. He came up very close to me. You know, he figures, oh, little old lady, I'm gonna go right in. And he was just a few feet away. And actually, he wasn't in a position to really get in. He would have to cut in front of me to get in. And I thought, you know, we've been waiting here for two or three lights, the third light coming up. And I said, and this young guy thinks that he can intimidate us. So I... Moved, Boy, was he mistaken. Yeah, I moved up a little bit, and he moved up a little bit. And I said, you tried, buddy. You know, I just thought to myself. And I said, this guy has no business trying to cut in when everybody is waiting. And then um, I heard him just sort of like starting, and I honked my horn as loud as I could and I gave him a dirty look and he stopped. <laughs> but 
you know, it wasn't a dangerous situation because I knew what I, I was doing. Right. And we were both, you know, alert. So, but I just thought he shouldn't feel that he's entitled to get in front just because he's a male and fast and got a sporty car. And he thought he was dealing with a little old lady. Well, was he mistaken or what? What's your name? Oh, jeez. <laughs> you okay, never mind. I just want to thank you for spending the time to share your story and uh, wishing you much aloha today. Oh, thank you.